एवरीवन वेलकम वंस अगेन टू दिस ऑनलाइन फिजिक्स क्लास फॉर स्टैंडर्ड नाइन अगेन वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद रिवीजन फॉर दिस चैप्टर नंबर टेन दैट इज ग्रेविटेशन ओके इन टुडे सेशन आई विल बी रिवाइजिंग द एसआई यूनिट्स फॉर ऑल द टर्म्स दैट वी हैव डन इन दिस चैप्टर लाइक योर यूनिवर्सल ग्रेविटेशनल कॉन्स्टेंट विच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड विद द लेटर जी एंड देन योर मास वेट acceleration due to gravity so we'll be doing the revision of the si unit of these terms please pay attention because this will be of great help when you ask questions based on the si units in the form of objectives okay now first universal gravitational constant you all know this universal law of gravitation what is that every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force which is directly proportional to product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them this you all are aware of. so gravitational force f is equal to capital g which stands for your gravitational constant into capital m that is mass of the earth into small m that is mass of the object upon distance square okay distance between the objects there okay now from this when we derive the formula for capital g we get it as fd square upon capital m into small n this d square can be replaced by r square even now what is the si unit of capital g si unit of capital g is newton meter square kg raised to minus 2 or you can write it as newton meter square upon kg raised to 2 how do you get this unit newton meter square kg raised to minus 2 when you take this formula g is equal to fd square upon capital m into small m your capital f has unit newton okay and d square distance is measured in terms of meters so meter square there kg raised to minus 2 because your capital m into small m are there in the denominator when you take it to the numerator it comes with minus 2 as superscript okay so it is newton meter square kg raised to minus 2 and the si unit of force you all are aware which is nothing but the newtons clear so gravitational force f is rep represented using the formula or the formula for gravitational force f is equal to g into capital m into small m upon d square d square can be replaced by r square even from this we can get the formula for gravitational constant that is capital g which is nothing but f d square f should be capital because it stands for your gravitational force f d square upon capital m into small m please understand the si unit of gravitational constant it is newton meter square kg raised to minus 2 and the si unit of force is newtons this you should be aware you should know the si unit of these terms thoroughly which is very very important now see value of capital g the accepted value is 6.673 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square kg raised to minus 2 you can write it as 6.67 even okay so value of capital g is 6.673 this is the accepted value which is given in your textbook it can be written as 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square kg raised to minus 2 and value of capital f when you are substituting the values in the formula that you have done for capital f that is g into capital m into small m upon d square you get this value 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newtons okay so here you have to focus much on the value of capital g which is nothing but 6.673 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square kg raised to minus 2 okay, okay let's now focus on acceleration due to gravity you all have learned free form See, when a withered leaf falls off from a tree, it's free fall. When a ripened fruit falls off from a tree, it is also called as free fall. See, when a withered leaf is falling down from a tree, this is happening only due to the gravitational force exerted by the earth on that object. So, when objects fall, only due to the force exerted by the earth on them, 
no other external force is acting on it in that case we call it as free fall the acceleration shown by the objects which are falling under the influence of earth's gravity is what is called as acceleration due to gravity and acceleration due to gravity is represented by the letter small g we have done the derivation for the small g so what's the formula for small g small g is equal to capital g into capital m into small m upon r square capital g you all know it is universal gravitational constant right now what should be the si unit of small g whatever is a unit for acceleration the same stands for acceleration due to gravity so what should be the si unit for acceleration due to gravity meter per second square so now coming to the value of small g on earth on earth it's different on moon the value of small g is different it keeps changing okay so in that case value of small g on earth is 9.8 meter per second square so once again i'm telling you small g is represented by the formula capital g into capital m into small m upon r square si unit of small g is meter per second square and its value on earth is 9.8 meter per second square okay now let's move on to mass and weight what is mass the quantity of matter contained in an object is what is called as mass and the mass remain constant wherever you go it doesn't change at all because it is the quantity of matter contained in an object so mass has the unit or the si unit of mass is kilogram okay now coming to weight weight of an object on the earth is the force with which it is attracted by the earth right weight of an object is the force with which the earth attracts the object so weight is a force right weight of an object on the earth is the force so what is the unit for force newton so what should be the unit for weight when weight is defined as the force in that case the unit for weight the si unit for weight is newton clear to you clear yes so gravitational constant capital g has the si unit newton meter square kg raised to minus 2 and your force has the SI unit newtons and your acceleration due to gravity as the SI unit meter per second square mass has the SI unit kilogram and weight has the SI unit newtons again okay so with this we are coming to an end of today's session meet you all soon in the next class till then take care and keep revising the chapter again and again have a nice day bye